Hello, happy people. Hope you're having a great day today. Today we're taking a look at the science fiction short story called Proft, published in 1953 um, in the magazine Galaxy by Margaret St. Clair. Uh, now this is another uh, short story in the best of Margaret St. Clair collection that we've been taking a deep dive into uh, that I picked up over on, from Amazon recently. I will link you to this collection in the comments below in case you're interested in also doing a deep dive into this uh, along with my sort of reading. I knocked this out a couple days ago and I really didn't enjoy it as much as the rest of the things. In fact, this is my least favorite uh, short story in this collection so far. I've been giving it just a six out of 10. Um, it's 15 pages long, took me a little bit less than a half an hour, more like 25 minutes uh, for me to knock it out. Um, the key sort of concept that's happening in this is that this is a lost, it's, it's set in a future uh, where, where you know, uh, civilizations exist and uh, there are these different worlds uh, and that sort of thing's happening. Uh, so it's definitely a science fiction short story. Um, but the key concept is, is that there's these mythical characters um, and we have a, that are supposed to be only seen at certain times, in certain ways, and in certain places that have an almost mythic sort of uh, uh, respect to them. And so our key point of view character then um, is going to be somebody who's psychic and believes um, that they can communicate with this species, um, this alien species that's sort of legendary, and, and figure out what's going on. And so this is a found diary um, that's found in space, and, and, and then it includes, as a part of it, uh, a deep dive into this relationship uh, that is set up between our point of view character and uh, all the various aspects of this uh, race. And then basically what's going to wind up happening uh, is, is that in this found diary, there's going to be a lot of description, physical, um, and about the conversations, and then about the, the gases about our point of view characters so what's actually happening and then we'll find out what actually is happening um and then we'll get more guesses um and i find there's a whole lot of description in, in this 15 page short story and not a lot of plot which is why i'm giving it a 6 out of 10 uh, rather than a 7 out of 10 i've actually given an 8 out of 10 to a couple of short stories in this collection too uh, this is my first six that i'm giving um i still enjoyed it um, so i'm giving it a review even at a 6 out of 10 uh, but I'm just letting you know, uh, it's definitely longer than it needs to be. Um, although if you like, uh, you know, a deep dive into a sort of a, uh, you know, all this sort of detail uh, and conversations and guesses as to what's actually the secret behind uh, the scenes uh, with this species of aliens, um, then you're definitely going to enjoy this 15 pages. It's definitely worth your time. It's also well written. Uh, Margaret St. Clair was definitely a competent writer. Uh, she started writing uh, in 1945, so this is again, it's published in 43, so it's eight years into her career. Um, and so uh, she's very prolific by this time. She published, she originally got started by publishing a lot of short stories, but then she made the a transition from the Pulp Air short story of, of writing over to novels. Um, and she was successful, a writer, and published for decades, and she's a very prolific writer. In the, uh, in the speculative fiction genres. Uh, this short story of collections uh, came across my myself when I wanted to do a deep dive into her stuff because she's mentioned in Gary Gygax's Appendix N, uh, which is an appendix that is included in the first edition of the Dungeon Master's Guide in 1979 uh, by Gary Gygax for the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons system. And in this, in this appendix, he, will, he lists both uh, the key things uh, that influenced his uh, creation and his genres and his thinking of, of stuff and where these sort of ideas came from uh, that he put together. Uh, and then also, uh, a list of inspirational reading for you to go and check out. So my goal is to read at least one thing by everybody who's mentioned on the appendix and before I die. And, and so I've been doing a deep dive into this channel of a lot of things that are mentioned in appendix N. Uh, and so uh, Margaret St. Clair then is the next big name that I'm doing a deep dive into. Now this collection of short stories isn't fantasy. At least I haven't come across anything fantasy yet. It's mainly uh, science fiction. I've come across one horror short story that I read yesterday, uh, but that's basically it. Um, the rest of it's been science fiction. And that's not the first time uh, that I've done a deep dive into somebody on Appendix N, picked up a best of collection, and every single short story in it was science fiction. I also had that happen with Lee Brackett, who's also in, mentioned uh, in the thing, and I, and I came across a best of collection, and it was all science fiction stuff. So, uh, you know, that does happen. <laughs> uh, some things I actually think definitely influenced uh, and are good reads and good ideas uh, for Dungeons and Dragons stuff, if you're looking for ideas uh, like, I think, uh, C.L. Moore's uh, Northwest Smith, 
um, who I definitely think you can come across some good ideas for some things. Uh, there's a, a short story that I've done a review of by C.L. Moore, uh, where the basic idea is that there are these dead gods that have left behind a, a city in Mars that has been explored, and I think it's just incredibly well done in the Northwest Smith series. Um, which I think would be a good place to start. Um, you know, if you wanted to do a deep dive into some, some ideas for some campaignings and adventures uh, and pulp idea, uh, pulp, pulp era ideas with published in Weird Tales. Uh, so anyway, uh, but Margaret St. Clair, uh, definitely a big name in the speculative fiction genre with science fiction, fantasy, and horror stuff all to her credits. Uh, so there you are. I'll go ahead and leave you to it. Have you read this short story? If so, what'd you think? Did you agree with me or disagree with me? My take, did you think it was better than a 6 out of 10? Worse uh, than a 6 out of 10? Did you agree that it was just a prob probably too much description and not enough plot? Um, if so, uh, I'd be more than happy to talk with you about it further in the comments below. If you like this video, why not hit that subscribe button? Because there's going to be a lot more of these to follow. And then finally, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling and I appreciate it. So thanks again and have an amazing day.